If you've ever lived in a city, big or small, you've probably looked up at the sky and seen this. And don't get me wrong, maybe the moon likes to peek out every once in a while. Maybe there's a tiny, tiny speck of light that you can also see right next to it. Oh, there's this plane that's flying by, it's given a cool flashing light. But with a lot of light pollution, a lot of the times, people in the city don't see the stars. Recently, I've been hunting down a lot of places around my local area that I haven't explored as much, especially because I am enthralled with nature, and I have always wanted to do something where I could see the sky fully at night. Thus, the opportunity for that did arise. Okay, super weird event, but there is a stargazing thing happening that my school is offering to like let us in and get a free pass and it's at this fossil museum place so i have <laughs> my very fabulously pink bag to bring over so i'm very excited it's it's a long drive though but i want to see the outdoors Okay, besides the inopportune choice to have a bright pink backpack and a bright pink shirt, which definitely attracted a lot of bugs, I- look, I, I only have like two choices in my closet. I don't have a lot of tops, okay? <laughs> but I was really excited to go through that drive. Going to that area is some of the most gorgeous scenery. I just- I adore it so much. You are surrounded by mountains, and I want to so badly, once I get my license, just lie down in that area and be consumed by the soil. Exploring the museum when we arrived was one thing. I was there with my family, but seeing behind the area into all of the wildlife was wild. My brother raced around the back and was like, oh wait, hold on, is that a meteor crater, like, back there? And so I raced over because I was thinking, oh my god, what? I did not read this on the website. And I was so excited, I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, there- Ah. The- the meteor. <laughs> but besides that little mix-up, I was so surprised to see all of those trees just lined up because they are giant even as stumps they were the, the size of one knee <laughs> that's the measuring unit we're using one knee especially because redwood trees at least from what i've been reading about them from the little plaques they are spread all across the world you know in terms of like the ancient ones the, the living ones not so much <laughs> Oh man, but it makes me so excited to, to see if I can eventually see the living redwoods because I just want to be, again, once again, engulfed by the soil. There's something about nature being all around you and engulfing you that's so cozy and serene to me. They were super fun to sketch, by the way. And there were lots of trails that I really wanted to wander, and you know what? I will do it in the company of people who enjoy walking because a lot of my family wanted to stay in the general area and I was like no but you know eventually I will walk that's my goal walking but on that night the setting sun gave way to the moon and a bright pinprick of Venus with enormous telescopes of all kinds highlighting each of their craters I cozied up under a thick blanket ready to see the sky fully when a giant thunderhead rolled in, uh, and uh, my family dipped. <laughs> it was incredibly frustrating to me, specifically because you feel like your experience is being hindered by an incredibly gorgeous cloud. How dare you? Damn you, very pretty thunderhead. But <laughs> it felt like almost it was mocking me later when we rolled away uh, because it decided to leave once we left. Like, it was saying, haha, psych. But not everything needs to work out at one time for it to be meaningful. And as I looked up into the sky as we drove, I saw a dozen blinking lights, all changing color. At first, I genuinely thought they were planes or those bright signals at the tops of towers. But then, I realized that they were 
a lot of them, like a concerning amount if there were planes flying around. Which made me realize, oh shit, those are stars? I never realized that the twinkle twinkle and twinkle twinkle little stars was literal. Stars blink at you and some of them change colors. Like, no one told me this? Or did most people who were in the same situation as me, where they looked up and they saw the same exact black sky that I did, so... <laughs> Living near light pollution does that to you, but oh my gosh, it was so interesting. It was almost magical, genuinely. <laughs> the silence and the lights and the pitch black just gave me this burst of energy. So much so that I was determined to see the night sky fully. And eventually, I will. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my cheesy narration, which uh, made me cringe a bit while I was editing, but it's a learning process. I hope that you can find things that you really are interested in trying out in your local area or in some other area that you can travel to, you know? I just think that it's nice to explore these little things that you may not have noticed. Okay, bye!